A boom in business, one New York family experiencing high demand following their restaurants reopening and finding out what does and doesn't work in this new normal. Joining us now is Buddy Ford Jr. He is the owner of Chateau on the Lake in Bolton Landing, New York. And your whole family has a bunch of restaurants. I know you guys are in the business and you're trying to adjust to this new normal. Um, what were some of the challenges of reopening? They're about to say go, we hope, here in New York. But it's not as simple as that, right? I mean, did you have a hard time getting supplies? Yeah, so the biggest challenge was our vendors. Our vendors are furloughed. And you've got to be ready to figure out how to get on those 1-800 numbers, order your liquor, order your, your food inventory. And when you get the stop of the finger go, you're scrambling to get product and supplies. And that was a big challenge. And then... Your employees might not be available. They could be visiting family, taking advantage of their downtime, and may not be available within a couple hour notice or 24 hour notice. So short staffed, short on your uh, your supplies, and you got to go about it very flexible and be ready to edit and operate small. Because I got news for you, they came. Customers are eager to spend money, and we were able to fill every seat in all of our restaurants with the guidelines. Okay. Yeah, with, with the guidelines. So, th so that's the big question. They're saying people aren't going to be comfortable going back out. I know I would trample about 100 people to get to a restaurant and have someone <laughs> make food and put it down in front of me on a dish that I will not be washing later. Uh, I heard a lot of people say I would love for someone else to mix a drink for me. Um, so I, I'm not surprised by what you're saying that, that you were, what is capacity like though? I mean, are you able to bring in enough people? Are you allowed to have enough people to make money? Yeah, so making the money is another conversation. We're taking it one step at a time. Right now, let's get the cobwebs out. Let's get open. Let's start the machinery. Let's get the stoves on. And let's get our employees' wheels grease in here. Uh, making money will come, but the bottom line is that it's going to come when we can fill our restaurants at capacity. Without capacity, you know, restaurants are built to operate at 125% capacity, not 50 so the good news is the demand is there, which is I know we were fearful of. We were afraid customers were never going to go out again. And the, that's gone. So get rid of the fear that your customers are gone. They're not. They're eager. They're ready. Now get ready to figure out how to manage it and last a little bit longer because now get ready to figure out how to manage it and last a little bit longer because your restaurant will be filled at the capacity levels as they opened up. So all the things you talk about, though, take excess cash, because you're talking about you have to restock on all of these items. You're probably going to end up paying more for them than before because you're not using your regular vendors. Everything's in demand. It's hard to get. You can't necessarily get all your people back, and you have to be ready to spring and go at a moment's notice, but you don't have a lot of notice ahead of time of when you're going to be able to have people in and the like. So how do you do that? I mean, because that, that requires excess money, which is the thing nobody has. You know, look at the restaurant industry. We're, we're hard workers. We're not in this business because we're not hard workers. You don't say, I'm going to get in the restaurant business because it's easy. It's the most difficult business on the planet. And I think we can all agree on that. And don't get me wrong, there's other hard industries, yep. but the restaurant industry is hard as it gets. And so we've got a, a hard working industry, and you just got to, we're tenacious. You got to get open. If we don't open, we're never going to figure it out. You got to get open. People are following the guidelines. They're respecting their behavior does not need to be policed by owners of a restaurant, which is a big deal. Get open and the money, we, we know it's going to come because we're selling out of capacity and we're in a very small populated area and it's not even our season yet. So you got to figure it out. We work with vendors. What vendors are working with us for timing of paying them. Get 45 to 60 day terms. We're all in this together, and the industry is a tight-knit industry. The vendors will work with you. They want you to survive and open, or they're out of business. But it's not easy, Melissa. It's definitely yeah. not easy. Yeah. But being closed and not operating and paying bills, it does not get any harder than that. Buddy, I love you so much, I can't even tell you. You are an inspiration. I love your spirit. Come back and tell us how it's going. You're fantastic. Thank you, Connell. God bless you. I love it. I'm rooting <laughs> right. for him, right? There Aren't we go. all rooting for him?